Oh, what's good, guys? Good morning. Welcome to the real day in the life of a millionaire day trader and entrepreneur. I wanted to make this video because I've made one of these videos in the past where it's like, wake up, brush my teeth, day trade for two hours, make a million dollars, and then go and lollygag at the beach. And I was talking to my, um, my assistant and I was like, bro, that's not what my day to day is. My day to day is wake up, TikToks while walking boogie. Then I well, I can't do TikToks right now, so this is why we're starting it in here because it's raining. But TikToks while walking boogie, get back. Then I fucking start my daily bias. Then I start live trading with the Discord. Then I take my trades. Then after that, I go to the gym. It like literally my entire day is like fully scheduled out. And then after the gym, it's like boom, I have phone call, phone call, phone call, business shit. Gotta do this, gotta do that. Mastermind. Like my entire day is work. And I feel like a lot of these like day in the life of millionaire day trader is just a bunch of cap. Um, and I'm done selling the dream. Um, so let's give you guys the real, real day in the life of a millionaire day trader and entrepreneur. Ready? Let's go. Here, so I'm going to tell you guys how I start off my day. I wake up, I come out here, I drink a coffee, and then like I was, and then like I was saying, I usually will drink my coffee, perky up, put on some shoes, take boogie on a walk. And that's when you guys always see me like, yo, like, you know, doing the TikToks and shit on the walk. I go on a three mile walk with my dog, come back here, dripping sweat, and then get in the shower. Unfortunately for me today, it's a rainy day in Puerto Rico. It's been raining for the past three days, so I haven't been able to go on that walk and do my regular routine, but instead, I've been walking around the house just trying to get my legs moving. I love to get active in the morning. Um, so I've been walking around the house, just like you guys see me doing right now, making TikToks, um, just so I can get my body and my brain moving before we get into the serious brain you know, shit, which is trading. So coffee down the hatch. I've already filmed a couple TikToks. I might get some B-roll of me like filming some TikToks right now. Who knows? It might be a little bit embarrassing. And then after that, um, I'll have you guys kind of sit in for a little bit of my daily bias, a little bit for my live trade, and then we'll go from there. All right. All right, y'all. So I finished up making my TikTok. So I actually have like 30 minutes before I'm going to get on this daily bias call. So in order to make the most out of my time, I'm going to sit down make a little YouTube video, um, a part of the trading transformation series. Um, I don't know when you guys are going to be watching this vlog. Odds are there's going to be more than two of these videos out already, but so far we only have one video. I'm going to make the second video right now. If you guys haven't watched the trading transformation series, I highly suggest you do because I'm literally taking you guys from nothing to something or nothing from nothing into a profitable trader, giving you guys at least all the education necessary in order for, in order for you guys to do it for yourself. So, I'm going to set you guys up here and I guess get started with this. Wish me luck. All right, what is going on guys? Welcome to day number two of the trading transformation series. I just finished recording that YouTube video that you guys saw a little piece of and now it just hit 10 a.m. Eastern time and um, it's a little bit late. So we're going to go ahead and get started streaming both to the discord my daily bias and then also streaming to youtube my daily bias so i'm going to go ahead and start streaming on youtube right now manage the broadcast create the broadcast where we're getting active with the live daily bias okay we're up and live now on youtube and i'm going to go ahead and tell the discord that we're live and boom so now we're up and live on YouTube and on the Discord, I'm going to go ahead and get started with my daily bias and pay less attention to you guys. Don't ask me what I'm doing. <laughs> this, this place is a mess, bro. What's up? You said Bitcoin? Day four of asking you to make your mic louder. Ever heard of a volume button? Was saying that it was going to be bearish. Who? The crypto fraud himself that said that, that Bitcoin was going to go up? Great. So on the daily on ES, we're bullish on four hour, let's see here, would be a sweep of these hourly highs. All right, y'all, so just finished up trading. Honestly, this past month has been super fucking tough for me in terms of trading. January markets have not been friendly to your boy. Um, so finished up trading, got to take some anger out at the gym. We're actually kind of switching up the routine a tiny bit. We're going to eat first because I'm super fucking triggered right now. Um, and that's a mix of me like trying to lose weight and me um, 
being hangry. Um, so we're gonna go eat first and then we'll get some work done. I gotta do some phone calls and then we'll go to the gym and then after that, um, you know, probably work some more and then after that, I don't know, we'll think about what we wanna do, probably work some more. And then after that, I need to think, what else do we have to do? Oh, that's right, more work. Um, so yeah, <laughs> can't wait to show you guys what we have to do. <laughs> one thing back in, if I could go back in time one year and tell, my, and tell myself something now, one year I was one year ago I was on so, start just like kind of getting going with social media um, I would say make sure that you stay like um, in line with your main goal it's really easy to get like super distracted by like um, I don't know like shiny object syndrome you know like you you like think that you're doing the right things but in reality it's for the wrong reasons like your intentions have to be have to be in line as well so like when I was making videos and um, like giving advice on YouTube and all of that like I was doing it out of like pure heart and genuinely trying to help people and then as time went on like I didn't even realize it I was but I was like kind of more focused on like how can I get more followers how can I get more views and then like you guys literally saw that change in like the video format and like in turn it was it, it was like detrimental to both like my channel and then like the money being made from social media or other companies so the one thing that I would tell myself um, a year ago and luckily I learned it sooner rather than later was make sure your intentions stay the same um, or just have pure intentions or know what your intentions are um, and you know uh, the results or the results will come with it right if you have good intentions you'll get a good reward if you have bad intentions you'll have worse consequences that's that would be my advice to younger me you feel any better about everything that's going yeah, on yeah bro my stomach's full i mean i was hey bro it's tax season i've been um i mean listen to this so i moved to puerto rico right to try and you know avoid taxes however for this past year I still have to pay US taxes so we are currently in the process of getting all that done if you guys make a lot of bread pay your taxes um, it sucks but you got to do it and make sure you keep your books filed everything nice and sorted or else this will be your booty and this will be the IRS all right but with that being said next year I'm Jay chilling but for this year I'm fucking pulling my hair out because it's just mad annoying um, I don't know, nobody likes to pay taxes, it's really irritating. Um, everybody hates seeing your hard earned money just get sent to the government and then it never gets used. But anyways, finished up lunch, now going to crush pre and get into the gym. I'm actually excited, yesterday was leg day, so today we can hit, honestly I wanna do like shoulders and arms and then tomorrow chest and back. You can do whatever you want. I'm doing shoulders and arms though, cause I wanna just, I want to feel good about myself. Today has been a really hard day. As you guys can tell, I have the hood on and I'm really self-conscious, so let's go. What's up? All right. I'm feeling a lot better. It's like, like, do you guys ever get like post-gym clarity? Like it's not post-nut clarity, it's like post-gym clarity. You know, like, bef I don't know, like if you haven't nut in a really long time, you kind of just get fucking like really heated, just like, you know, like a little bit of like just anger in your chest and you're just like really upset. I was, I was overreacting. I was really being kind of like annoying this morning. Um, I like, I lost a trade and I was really in my feelings about it. And I just checked the SPX chart. Like shit has been consolidating all day. It wasn't my fault that I lost that shit. Like I really just had to let, let off some steam. Like literally get in the sauna sweat some of that shit out like just literally bicep curl until i was until like i wasn't angry anymore like literally like work out so much so that like i wasn't upset anymore got on the treadmill and now i'm ready to work some more um i got on i got on uh well i didn't get on call but i booked all the appointments that i needed to with my tax people with my accounting people Talk to my lawyer a little bit over the phone. He said, all you guys are fucking lost and you guys are never gonna make any bread in 2024. <laughs> um, I'm playing. Watch the trading transformation. <laughs> Y'all might be able to make it. Um, 
But anyways, we just finished up at the gym, just did sauna, um, had some lunch. We are about, it's like four right now. So we're about to spin back. Uh, there's cleaning ladies at my house right now, but I don't really have like much more work to do um, today, like required. So what am I going to do? There's always more work to do. There's always shit that I can do. So I'm going to film like two more YouTube videos for the trade and transformation because I have the time for it. I'm going to film a bunch of TikToks um, and I got to get on. Oh, I got to get on a call in like 45 minutes. So boom get on the phone call in like 45 minutes. Maybe I can make a YouTube video um, before then. And then we'll see what we wanna do from there. Maybe grab some dinner and then go back, go back home, work some more, straight to bed. Literally like, you guys are watching this video being like, where's the fun shit? It's non-existent. There's no, welcome to my life, man. Working is, working is fun. I, I enjoy my days. Even though like, I kind of like bitch and scream, it's like, I like bitch. I kind of like the bitching and screaming and like the problems that I have because it's like, damn, I got to solve them. Um, so yeah, man, we're going to go back to the house, say hello to the cleaners, say hello to Boogie and get on that call in like 45 minutes and film like two YouTube videos, bunch of TikToks, get after it. All right, let's go. Alright y'all, so I just finished up. You guys saw me taking my call. That was, I'm doing a full rebrand of TJR Trades. Um, so that's exciting. We're getting a website up for my personal brand. We're getting new logos, new banners for YouTube, new thumbnail, everything. Full rebrand of everything. We're getting a website, like all of that. So that's what that call was about. Um, and then I just did a little market or I guess uh, back testing session with the discord and now we have a special gift from our friends at WAP. Let me open this and don't leak my address. Eric, block that shit the fuck out, please. Actually, it's already leaked online, but don't leak it more. <laughs> Shout out to that one nerd for that one. <laughs> Fucking bitch. <laughs> yeah. Look how far that took your channel. Got you the most followers you have ever had in your entire life. Wait, I'm actually really disappointed. I thought this was going to be, okay. Well, there will be another, <laughs> that's so embarrassing. I thought this was, okay, well, I mean, regardless, hey man, we got a WAP hoodie. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> WAP.com, start your online business today. I thought that, guys, I'm not gonna, I got a little bit ahead of myself. They've been, they've been sending around these like million, like, uh, I don't even know. Like they've been sending these plaques out, like, like kind of how YouTube, YouTube does. I mean, I'm in Puerto Rico, so it takes a long time to ship, right? Ike, bro, send one now, please, bro. I, I got a hoodie and bro, I saw some no name get a fucking plaque. He was in a Miami penthouse, bro. That like, I, bro, a Miami pent is my second spot. What are we, Ike, bro, what are we doing? Do we need to reconsider? Do I need to re, I'm playing, WAP's the best. Thank you guys for the hoodie. I will be wearing this. I'm actually going to rep this shit so hard because I do love WAP. It's honestly like, if you guys are trying to start an online business, guess what, man? I'm repping my set, I'm repping WAP, I love the people over there, They're, they've been nothing but good to me. And, as of right now, literally the best platform to do anything on. You guys have a course, you guys have a skill, you guys have a community, any, like PDF, file, movie, and literally anything. And you wanna sell that shit, or if you just wanna push it out for free, and like, get emails, whatever, do it on WAP. WAP is awesome, I got a link in the bio, of the, or link in the description of this video where you guys can literally hop in there, sign up, start your little thing for free. So anyways, let's go to dinner now. <laughs> All right, we got back from dinner. It is currently 8.30. I'm already, my house turns into a jungle gym. Like the cleaners just came here, bro. And that's what the couch looks like. This is what we're doing today, bro. Welcome to the day in, a light, day in the life 
of a millionaire day trader. Hold on. This shit does not look good on my face. Now we're talking. Now we got that shit focused up. Hey. Uh, anyways, um, it's like 8.30. I'm really tired, bro. Boogie, are you tired? Do you want to go to bed, little, little muskrat? No, he doesn't. Uh, anyways, it gets to this time of night, and it's like, man, we're going to do, like, one or two more, like, beneficial things before we just go so brain dead, like, where our heads hurt. Um, but I pretty much did everything I needed to get done today. I'm really tired. I really want to snuggle up in bed, but I'll probably make another YouTube video. I just felt bubbles in my stomach. I'm definitely going to poop. Bro, we've, we haven't been using these dude wipes. Communal. Communal dude wipe. After you take a shit, you have to walk out here and just drop your pants. Take this and just wipe straight into the crack, bro. Boogie. Guys, Boogie literally shit all inside of his crate. He was throwing up. I think he's feeling better, though. His poop looked a little bit solid today. And he's off to the race. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Easy. Whoa, random baby boy. Easy, mister. Yup. Easy. Good boy. Yeah. Good Let's boy. Let's kickstart this on the couch real quick. Yup. This is going to be horrible. Yup. Psycho. Yeah. Lawnmower. Straight to work. Cleaners just came. Fuck them. Ain't that right, Boogie? Anyways. I'm gassed. Probably gonna eat like a singular chocolate, film a YouTube video, and knock out. All right, guys. With that being said, that was a real life day in the life of a day trader slash entrepreneur. Really fucking boring. Lots of phone calls, lots of time on screens. Not really what you would imagine from a millionaire day trader, but guess what? That's what brings the dollars in. Being on screen, being on call doing all that shit, um, you know, life is hard, and then you die. Famous quote from TJR's mom. I, every time I would complain about like doing work ever, like in the house. Wow, that's honestly such a good quote, bro. What'd you say? My mom, bro, shout, shout out TJR's mom, bro. She would always say like, when me and my brother would complain about doing work in the house, like chores, it's just like, should apply to work in general. Uh, we would always be like, ah, I don't want to do it. And she just said, life is hard and then you die. Couldn't really be real with it. Yeah, bro. Life is hard and you just got to have to decide what type of hard oh, that you want to take. A hard dick or hard work. Me personally, I'm taking both. Anyways, boys, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.